Hello and welcome back to Castlefront Gaming. We are on a level called Ray and the Beanstalk, which is in the second world, first level. So I'm so happy that we graduated from the first world. And you could see that the scenery is already quite different. And they right away introduce a new mechanic, which is the upflowing wind mechanic. Um, and uh, you use that by holding down on the X button for the PlayStation controller. Um, it's the jump button. Once again, all the teensies will appear uh, in the description uh, with the number allocated to their uh, timestamp. Uh, for just as a quick uh, TNC guide. Boom. I find the wind levels to be a lot of fun. Uh, it helps things move uh, smoothly. Um, and uh, I feel like it just adds general nice effects and feelings of tranquility. And the music also emulates that. Now, I don't remember the songs happening when I was hitting those teen seeds when I played a while ago. I'm wondering if it was a, a patch or if it's always been kind of like a song as you're hitting the uh, looms that are flying around. Okay, let's see if I could somehow get this guy. Get out of there! <gasps> wow. We did it. Well, even digital monsters gotta eat. Maybe if I had a different color on, it would be less appetizing. Here's a hidden chamber. Okay. This time... Uh, okay. This time... Okay, good, we got it. I was thinking about um, rock and roll racing recently, and maybe down the line after Spider-Man. I know it's a turn in a different direction, but uh, I was thinking about doing rock and roll racing. I just miss the songs going on with, you know, Olaf, finish the race. <laughs> I'll probably play as Olaf. Um, but if I'm going to do that, I first have to do uh, Lost Vikings 1 and 2, because that would be a proper excuse as to why Olaf is in this random racing dimension. Uh, because it might have been, you know, during one of his travels, sometimes in, especially in number 2, I don't remember if they do it in number 1 of Lost Vikings, they split up. And so it could be like, oh, okay, Olaf went to Rock and Roll Racing Land for a little while. Um, so we might... Oh, that looked like it actually hurt uh, the character when he dropped. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about Rock and Roll Racing. If you guys even know Rock and Roll Racing, one of the reasons I'm doing these walkthroughs is because... I love showing my son all the stuff I used to be doing, so, um, or other people in the community also. So there's a lot of things out there. Right now we're just starting with Raymond Legends and, and all that, but if the, even the more obscure stuff, uh, stuff from a while back, um, to have the children, yeah, we got all the looms and the teensies, just get, getting them to experience some type of 
media that they just don't show nowadays. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I very much appreciate you guys checking out the webisodes here. And uh, I hope that I was able to guide you uh, to ultimately to being able to pass Raymond Legends in an easier fashion. Okay, take care, guys. Peace.